Woo-wee! That joint is looking fire. That joint is looking fire. What's good, family? Welcome back to God Driven TV with your boy, LaShawn Taylor. Yo, I'm excited for this video today. If you have not already seen the Black Panther Wakanda Forever trailer dropped about last week and people were going nuts over the trailer. Man, the trailer's actually pretty dope. Everybody's anticipating this film. So I was thinking, you know, why not give people a Black Panther DIY t-shirt, hoodie, sweatshirt, whatever you want to wear. So I'm going to show you how to make a dope Black Panther sweatshirt for this upcoming film because we know it's going to be dope. And I'm going to get straight into this video right now. Get our words. So I'm, what I'm going to go ahead and do is search up the words for Wakanda forever. And I'll just go and say font. Go straight to Google. Go to images. So you can see everything they got. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, get this right here. Save image to downloads. And these are the words that I'm gonna put on each sleeve. Right, next, next what we wanna get is his chain that I'm gonna go ahead and put around the neckline of the hoodie. So I'll type in Black Panther necklace SVG. And it's, of course it's a lot that comes up so I'll just scroll, oh man, hit something. I'll just go ahead and scroll down until I find one that I like. I actually kind of like the way this one looks in this Wakanda Forever one. You know what, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with this one right here. So I'm going to hit, I'm going to make sure we save this to downloads. And I had an idea that I wanted to put on each side of the actual hood part. It's like an image where Black Panther is shaped into Africa. So I definitely want something like that. Because that's actually pretty dope. Oh, actually, i never seen this one. This one is hard. Yo, this one is, you know, we're going to use this one right here. So I'm going to save image to downloads. Like that on the back. I think I would like the words just Black Panther on the back. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and put Black Panther Word logo and see what comes up like that. I seen something that was like in the image of his mask. Something kind of like this. Let's see. Oh, I like the way it, I like the way this one looks with the mask kind of formed already. You know, yeah, we're going to go with this one right here. So I'm going to download this. And I'll probably have this as the image just on the back of the, the hoodie. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is get them uploaded into our Cricut Design Space. And all of these should be at the top of my most recent folders page. Let's see. Yep. So with this Wakanda Forever sign, well, first we'll hit Complex and then Continue. But with this Wakanda Forever sign, both of these words have to become individual words. So what it will do is just crop out just the top. Like that. And then what we'll go ahead and do is just get the back, remove the background from this. We'll go into the letters. All right, so now we got our Wakanda. Hit cut image, and we can name it Wakanda. And hit upload. So we're going to the same exact image we just used. Hit complex, continue, and do the same thing. Regain this forever. and cut image and upload. We'll do this chain next. Hit complex. 
and we'll go ahead and get the background removed and I'm gonna take out the white parts of the chain I might go ahead and uh, take out the gray parts though too see how that looks we're gonna do it just like that so I'll hit apply and continue cut image and we'll upload that next part we're gonna go ahead and do the hood and we're gonna go ahead and crop out as much as we can so that we don't have to worry about a big chunk of this so I'm gonna get out the background first I want to make sure that I get the inside of the eyes And next, what we want to do is just get rid of, rid of these words. So I'll grab my re eraser. Now we'll go ahead and hit apply. So I'll hit cut image and I'll name this Black Panther Africa. And hit upload. All yeah, right, and we'll hit complex again. What we're gonna go ahead and do is just get out the background and then the inside of the letters. And we'll hit apply and continue. And cut image of course. And I'll just name this Black Panther Mask. All right, now that we got our, our images uploaded, I'm gonna go ahead and get the proper measurements for our hoodie. So first I'll measure out the sleeves. I do want the words on the sleeves to be pretty big, pretty decent size. So I might go ahead and do like the full 12 inches, just like that. For the sleeves, I'm gonna do 12 inches. Now the design, the Africa design on both sides of the hood, I could probably do about five inches wide. I don't need it too, too big, but I'll see, I, I, I'll see how big I wanna make it for sure. Then we'll go ahead and measure the necklace. So I'll see how long I need to do on the neckline. And the neckline, that's probably about just come over just a little bit that's about ten and a half ten to ten and a half inches so I'll go go probably about ten and a half inches on the neckline for the back the big old black panther mask on the back I'll go ahead and do let me see I think I want that pretty big so I might do that at least 10 11 inches as well let's go ahead back to design space I'm gonna go ahead and Get these images sized how I want them, and we're gonna get these jokers cut out. The words, I'm gonna do 12. Well, 11.5, so I can still make sure it fits on my 12 by 12 mat. 11.5. 11.5. I don't really want the words like. Height wise, I kind of want them a little thicker, so I might go ahead and up the height just so they cover a little bit more of the sleeve. I might go to three inches for both. Three inches, three inches is not too bad for this necklace. Remember, we said width of ten and a half. Just like that. The height is actually pretty long. And I, I think I do kind of like that with the height being pretty long. So keep it like that. For this mask, we'll make this, make this 11. So this is actually gonna cover up a lot of the shirt too. And then for these, I might just go ahead and do six for these just so it's not that small and it's 
still noticeable. But yo, everything, all of this looks fire. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this. I'm gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna flip it so that it's going the other way. But make it again. Now you wanna make sure your designs are mirrored. This design, I am using some gold reflective vinyl. And I can't wait. This will be my first time using it in gold. The silver goes crazy, so I know this gold got to be something special too. Make sure all your designs are mirrored. I'm going to bring this image right here up to the third one, just so I don't have to do like multiple cuts on different sheets. Let's go ahead and get these cut out. So hit continue. Like I am just going to go ahead and choose uh, everyday iron on. And I'm gonna just go ahead and get these cut out and I'll meet you guys back here when we're ready. Now that I got all my designs cut out, I'm going to be placing them one by one in each area. I got my Cricut Easy Press 2 set to 305 degrees, and I'll be pressing it for a total of 15 seconds. So I'll go ahead and get my one arm first. Start at this. So I'm putting Wakanda over here. All right, and then I'll take my heat sheet and I'll get this pressed out. Now this does require a warm peel. Now this does require a warm peel. Peel accordingly. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same for the other arm. Like this. Just like that. Ooh, that joint is fire. That joint is fire. I'm loving it. Take my sheet again and get that pressed out for 15 more seconds. We'll wait a couple seconds to get this peeled up. We'll go ahead and get the back pressed out. I'm gonna go ahead and let my hood down because more than likely I won't be wearing the actual hood. And this just gives me a good reference on how far down I should have the design on the back. And of course I want it to show fully. And I'll lift the hood up. I'll grab my sheet one more time. And I'll go for another 15 seconds. Wait a couple minutes for that. All right, and that's looking, that's looking so good. Woo, wait! That joint is looking fire. That joint is looking fire. Now we're gonna go ahead and go to the front of the design. I'm gonna go ahead and place my necklace down. It's the way that I like it. Just like that. And get our necklace pressed out. All right, and we'll wait. A couple seconds to peel this as well. And of course it's looking good. Now for the last part we're going to do both sides of the hood. This joint looks so dope. And press it out for 15 seconds. And then we'll go ahead and get this other side pressed out. And then I'll show you the finished product. Alright family, thank you for tuning into this video. 
As you can see, the hoodie came out super dope. And if you're interested in this hoodie, I'm thinking about actually placing it on my website for purchase. I'll definitely leave the link in my bio. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification to be notified when I drop new bangers for you guys. And as always, keep applying pressure to life because life has no boundaries. Until next video, we out.